Hello everybody, Mr. Stixman here, and welcome back to Stormworks. Today we have a lot of work to do, we're going to carry on building the barge here, and it's going to be a whole lot better by the end of this video. But first of all, I want to do a float test on this thing. What I'm going to do in a minute is fill up every fuel tank right to the maximum level. They're going to be really, really heavy, and what we need to find out is, can we carry 10 million dollars of jet fuel on this barge? all in one go. Let's get to work. Right then, here's for our first test of how much fluid this thing could actually carry. So in each tank, I have now got uh, fresh water right up to the maximum level. So here's our spawner, and I've got fresh water 100% fill level. And that is on all of our tanks. We have three tanks here, and I'll show you inside them actually. This is what they look like inside at the moment. So completely empty. And the reason why I can't put jet fuel in them is because, of course, we're in career mode and you can only spawn in, you know, fresh water and uh, I think you can do seawater maybe as well with the spawner here. But uh, we're not in creative or custom mode and that's why we can only work with our water at the moment. But I think it should give us the same results. So, right, here we go then. Let's spawn it in and see if this floats or sinks. Oh yes, check that out, that's brilliant. Okay, so there's a good amount of uh, clearance above the water there actually. The deck is definitely not sinking down. And we can see that it's a bit more, I think, front heavy, just about. If we just go over here as well and have a look. Yeah, it is, definitely. Now, what can we do to actually help this a bit? Because of course, it is going to become heavier. Um, but at the same time, we can increase buoyancy to counter that. So I'm thinking of, you know, adding some extra air pockets down underneath, uh, which will also sort of add protection to the bases of our fuel tanks. But it should just keep us up out of the water a bit more as well. But yeah, today we're going to be adding, uh, well, we're changing up the bridge and that whole superstructure over there quite a lot, to be honest. So it is going to be much better, but also bigger and heavier at the same time. But I'm not worried at all because, you know, that is fully loaded and uh, it's definitely not dangerous, right? <laughs> I think if the water gets a bit choppy, we might be swept off the deck, but uh, <laughs> it should be okay for the most part. We'll try and choose, you know, a good patch of weather to do the job in. Now, as I say, I'm going to change up the bridge a lot today, but at the same time, I'm going to uh, just uh, reshape the hull a bit down here as well, make that much nicer. I'm going to try and put the fluid jets into the hull properly. I won't actually do the engines today, but I'll try and install those jets really, really nicely. So that's it. That's done then. And then the engines can be installed at another point. I'm also thinking of raising the deck up at the stern here, just uh, another couple of blocks to sort of counter the extra weight of that superstructure there. And also, of course, when the engines go in, I'm probably going to have a, a few engines there, which may weigh it down eventually. And then at the end of the video, I might actually do some painting as well. We might actually paint almost the entire thing um, and give us a good idea of what it's going to look like when it's all finished. Anyway, guys, let's get into the workbench and get back to work. Okay, now, I mentioned this bridge area here. Uh, yeah, we're going to do a massive overhaul on this starting right now. So I'll just get uh, symmetry mode on. Um, now, I'm going to get rid of these, okay? We are actually going to have some uh, sort of platforms or walkways here next to the bridge, but they're going to be much different to this. So I'm just going to get rid of this for now, and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll sort of add it back in a minute. But there are a few things we have to do first. Get rid of these doors here because they were just a test actually um and i'll fill in these gaps you know eventually we might actually knock down this wall here because what i am planning on doing and actually we could do this right now to be honest is have um a slope down here uh so let's just try and sort that out now just like this really and then we're going to come down here and what that's going to do is I mean first of all you know it will look better but it's not all about looks of course what it is going to do is increase the space we have in this room as well um, but yeah the whole structure will just have a bit more shape to it and look a bit more interesting right at the same time so we'll just bring this along here and then basically fill in the gaps And there we go. So now I reckon that looks a lot better than it did already. Now we could have, you know, life rings on the front or, you know, bits of equipment, whatever we want here. Uh, but yeah, let's go round to the side now. And another thing I'm going to do 
is actually get rid of these windows at the sides. And I am going to have windows there, but we're actually going to have vertical ones instead of uh, these angled ones. So the actual uh, structure here might look a bit kind of slimmer, just a little bit slimmer on the sides. But there are going to be more things we're adding to bring it out to the side in a minute. Anyway, we'll get onto that soon. Now, I think to just transition between, you know, these windows and the side windows, it might be a good idea to have some wedges there like this. And then we'll just sort of section it off like that. Then we'll have maybe, if I just get rid of these wedges here. Try and... Now, it's a bit of a pain, really, because if we had you know, different types of windows in the game, which we might be getting at some point. I know everybody's asking for new windows, so I wouldn't be surprised if we do see some more eventually. Um, but yeah, just for now, there aren't really many windows that we can put in here. We could put the really small squares or whatever, but it's not going to work. So I'm just going to have that as a solid wall for now. And then we'll go and get the large window here. And I'll put a few of them down like that. And I, again, we'll just uh, put the smaller window on top to get that extra headroom and also that extra visibility as well. There we are. And there we have it. Now also, I'm going to have doors here as well because what I thought we'd have is a staircase on each side going up onto a walkway which is next to the bridge so you can sort of go outside the bridge area if you want to to have a look down the side of the boat but at the same time it serves as an access point as well. So let's just go back around here and uh, I think we'll leave one sort of layer or line of blocks, column of blocks, whatever, um, here just to, you know, separate the windows from the door and then we'll probably put it right there, I think. We'll just get a few more here as well and then we'll search for our door. I'll just have one of these, I reckon, for the moment and rotate that into position there. Right, okay, and that's good, I think. Do you know what I will do, though? is I'll actually um, add an extra line of blocks over here because I reckon that's going to be a bit weird otherwise. You want to make it all flush with this wall, so that's what we're doing here. Okay, that's better, isn't it? Just a bit cleaner, really. We want it to look clean. Uh, so we'll just get rid of these blocks. Bring that down there. Fantastic. And I reckon we'll probably, you know, fill in this wall. That is now the room underneath. Now, here goes our staircase, right? Uh, it's going to literally go up here into the doorway, and it's also going to have, you know, sort of railings on either side of the stairs as well. So let's just sort that out. Okay, very, very good. But I've just realised I've done something which I, I want to change, is that I want to have wedges on either side of the stairs and then have the railings on those. So actually what I'm going to do is copy these, or cut them even, and we're going to move them one out like that and I'll just have to do the same on the other side very very good okay now let's get our wedges and we'll just trim this bit off as well because we don't want to go out too wide I mean we do want you know plenty of room down here as well because we're going to be walking around here and all the rest of it so that's very very good I think yeah, and you know, that's really good access to our bridge now, isn't it? On both sides, so it doesn't really matter if you're on the wrong side of the ship. You can always get into the bridge easily. Now, before I actually add the railings, which I'll do in just a second, but this is where I'm planning on having the smokestacks or the funnels. So, kind of here, if the wall of it, the front of those, all goes here, I think then they can sort of raise up above our bridge area like this. Just for example, I'll put the wedges on here. And we'll come back to this in a minute, actually. Uh, but we'll just put it there so we, you know, we've got an idea of what's going on. But I think that is a good location for, you know, the front of our smokestack, which will come back here and have a nice shape going down diagonally, uh, down back into the deck below as well. But yeah, let's carry on and do our railings. So now let's get rid of these wedges here and find our diagonal sort of incline railings. Right, what do you reckon guys? That's pretty good, isn't it? That is pretty good, I reckon. Much better than before, right? It looks a lot cleaner. There's also a bit more detail as well. And it's just more interesting and also very practical at the same time. I like it. Do you know what I'm going to do as well? Is add some wedges up here. Um, just, uh, you know, just to give it a bit more shape as well. And then maybe some 2x1s to round it off on the sides. That's cool. 
Now, I am thinking as well of actually moving the entire thing forwards a bit. I'm probably going to do it when we've got our funnels on. But yeah, that's just an idea that I have because I want to have extra space at the back to walk around on and do stuff with over there. Um, and we do have a big space here. This might be where the pumping system goes and I might move around these stairs or change them a bit. Um, but it won't go forwards a whole lot, it'll just be a little bit anyway. Let's uh, go around here now and work on the funnels. So I don't know exactly how big I want these to be, but uh, I'm just thinking maybe we should have a line of blocks inside them as well. Let's have a look here. If we've got three there, that's three by three. What about three by four? Like this. Now what I'm thinking here is that if we get our fluid port, um, the larger fluid port, I believe, is a 3x4. Uh, yeah, that's perfect, isn't it? Now, I will actually have this sort of further down inside the funnel, but it will be, you know, a little bit visible. So it's not going to be flat with the top there. There will be a hole. But as you can see, it fits really nicely. So let's just bring this down here. That'll go like that right into the deck. Do the same on the other side. And then what I am going to do as well is actually angle the back of the funnels, maybe with some 2x1s. Okay, yeah, that's cool, isn't it? I like that. I really do like that a lot. All right, let's move the whole thing now then before you know we get carried away and uh, forget to do it later on. Okay, and that's it. I've done it now. So I've moved it forwards. So, um, you know, I, I can't remember how many blocks I moved it forwards. But what I do have here still is a really good space where we can use, you know, pumps and all the rest of it. But we can always, you know, change it later. I do think maybe these are a little bit, uh, yeah, on the, on the long side. As in back here, they're quite long. What if we just delete one level here? That's better isn't it I reckon just gives us a bit of extra space right okay what do you reckon guys let me know what you think in the in the comments section down below but that is much better than before isn't it uh, for some reason we've got a random line of blocks there I'm sure there's a lot of weight saving to do and blocks that I've got that I don't need so of course I will go through all of this and actually erase those as we go or at the end of the build as well uh, but just for now, you know, this is really good progress. Uh, at least I think it is anyway. I think it's pretty good at the moment. Next, I suppose what we could do here actually is if I just get rid of that. Um, kind of section off the bridge, right? And look at this. We've got an area back here. I'm just wondering if we can use that in some way. If we just uh, cover up the roof here for a minute. Now, I'll probably have a lot of stuff on the roof as well. Um, but, you know, we'll do that at another time. I'm just wondering if we have a doorway here. Um, and then we can actually come outside at the stern and have a look round, you know. So I'm grabbing these railings, we'll just take them all the way across. We could even have ladders that go up here, but let's leave that as it is, you know, just for an idea at the moment. Um, we've also got another room here, so we could either have this open and, you know, we might even have like an anchor at the stern or a towing line. Um, so we could use this space to operate in and have equipment and stuff. This room's pretty big, it's a good size, so we don't necessarily have to extend it out the back. Um, you know, let's leave this at the moment and see how that goes. That's pretty interesting, I reckon. Okay, now yeah, as I said earlier, I might want to raise the deck at the stern as well. Um, so, let's just get some stairs here. Yeah, maybe we could have a double staircase going up. Uh, and then again, we'll probably have the wedges on the side. A bit like that, really. And then up here, this will be the new layer, or sorry, level of deck. Actually, do you know what I am going to do, though? Is move it. I'm going to cut it and paste it back here. Now, that's actually worked out really well. Because on the side here, we are going to have some sort of... Uh, I don't know actually what you'd call it on a ship. But some sort of barrier, of course, so you don't fall off the thing. Uh, when you're walking around and look at that there's one layer of wool here right next to the staircase that's perfect isn't it and it's probably going to be no more than three high because that's about waist height i would assume that's probably very very good let's try and build this up a bit and you know and see how it would be yeah that's pretty cool i like that 
I like that a lot. And do you know what? Also, like, if we're adding a lot of weight under here, engines and all sorts of things, although it's going to weigh down the stern, the extra deck up here might actually increase buoyancy at the at the back of this uh, boat here. So maybe it's also going to help with buoyancy as well. Um, but yeah, what I'm going to do now is just sort of delete the flooring underneath here and then add it to our new level of deck above. And that's done. Now the deck is raised up a bit. Um, everything underneath is also sealed and you know I, again I'll probably do some sort of uh, adjusting here make sure I'm not you know using any extra blocks that we don't need and all that so I'll delete those at some point and we do a proper pass on the uh, on weight saving and all of that stuff anyway that's really really good I think now of course we are going to have a lot of nice sort of shape here going down um, near the step so what I plan on doing is adding some maybe four by ones here um, we'll try and come down a level because this is also going to be three high as well. Okay, and that's good. You know, this might change, but that's a general idea that I'd like to run with for a bit. And we will actually have, you know, um, sort of holes underneath as well, this kind of thing going on. But I will get onto that in a minute. What I want to do next is actually cut in on the stern because this thing is a massive block at the moment uh, and it does not look very good at all. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna now <laughs> we're gonna perform surgery on the hull of the ship and get it looking a bit better. And to do that, I'm going to just literally sort of cut a, a, an angled line down here and then put the whole thing onto that line. So if we go right to the stern and bring the blocks down, let's see, let's try 11. Let's try 11. So we'll start here, and we're literally just going to cut this away. Then we're going to get our wedges, the one by ones, because again, I think they will have better performance for the boat, you know, compared to two by ones or anything like that. Um, is that the right level? I think it is actually. That's good, isn't it? And then, yeah, we'll just uh, fill this gap in, really, and, and have a look. That looks mean, that does. <laughs> that looks a lot more mean now. That's great, though. Really nice. Really nice shape to that. Now, it will actually uh, reduce buoyancy at the stern, of course, because... Well, you know, we will have less air, uh, basically. But again, it might not matter. And of course, we can add more buoyancy onto this boat at a later stage as well, especially underneath where I'm sort of planning on doing that anyway. Okay, now, yeah, let's uh, let's just see seal this up here. Um, and then I'm going to try and actually put the fluid jets, like install them into the stern uh, so they're ready to go. And then when we put our engines in, they're already there, ready to connect up and be used. So that's the plan here. Nice. Now, yeah, we're going to put these in next. Just before we do that, look at the shape of this thing. That's really coming together, isn't it? It looks really good, I think. I'm quite happy with that so far. Now, let's head over to the stern then. And, yeah, I, I reckon uh, we'll make a bit of a platform first to put these things on. So here's our platform. I've just used the 4 by one wedges there. Um, and I'm going to keep the shape really, really simple if possible. So my plan is to literally put these uh, fluid jets onto those 4 by one wedges and then just build a box around it essentially, you know, to seal the gap. So let's try and do that now. I'll actually just uh, cut and paste them in if I can. Okay, there we go. They're all done now. They look pretty good actually down there, I reckon. That, that's nice. A very, very simple shape, but it should do the job just fine for us. And also, here's the interior. So now, of course, everything is sealed up. We can literally put our engines like just down here and hook them right into these fluid jets. No problem at all. And yeah, if we look here, there's probably a whole bunch of weight we can save and buoyancy that we can also add as well. So I, I will be doing that, of course, uh, to give us the best, you know, situation possible. Okay, but I reckon that's that's a really good job. That is done for the moment. Do you know what we should do, though, is actually just float it and see how, you know, changing the hull here in the bridge has affected balance and all that. Let's have a go. Okay, it seems, yeah, it's a bit, <laughs> it's a bit lower at the stern now, but actually, I think it has leveled it out, because if you remember, it was heavy at the bow earlier, now it seems to be quite flat, actually. That's quite good, isn't it? That is an absolute beast. This thing, <laughs> this thing is awesome. Okay, let's jump on board and have a walk around as well, because we haven't really used these staircases yet, have we? 
That's a really good little area. Okay, it's actually, it's not very high, isn't it? it's not very tall, so you'd have to crouch down to use it. But we could store things in here as well, so anyway, we'll figure that out another time. Walk around the back here. Now, I will have, you know, cleats and sort of rope anchors that we can, you know, moor up to docks and jetties with and other boats and stuff like that. I'll put these all down here eventually. And then we're going to have some doors to go inside this room right here under the bridge, which I just haven't put in yet. Uh, now let's go up the stairs, go into the bridge. That's great, isn't it? That's really good so far. Just uh, run in here. Okay, very good. That's where we're going to control this thing. And then a nice big space out the back, actually. That's bigger than I expected. That's really good, isn't it? Okay, I don't know what we're going to use this for other than just, you know, sort of having a look. <laughs> having a look uh, outside at the back. But um, we could have, you know, a camera set up here. A reversing camera, for example. Uh, and, you know, spotlights and all sorts of things. I've got some very interesting, you know, really fun extra plans for this this boat but I'm not going to sort of announce those now because I'm not sure if I'm actually going to add them uh, and I'm probably going to get new ideas as well as we go forwards but I do have some really fun interesting ideas that will either appear on this ship or probably in season three if not anyway let's just carry on here what we'll do is probably go let's go out the other door just make sure everything's okay on this side which I think it is yep there's no gaps no holes <laughs> let's run down here here are the tanks Here's the winch at the front. Alright, let's take it back into the workbench. Okay, now one thing I am also going to add in this video is maintenance hatches to our fuel tanks so that we can actually climb inside them and run around inside them. Now whether that will be actually useful, I'm not sure. It will be good if we get damage and we might need to quickly go down there and repair something, you know. So it could actually be useful, but at the very least it would be a nice detail to have. And of course, these tanks do have access hatches in real life as well right so <laughs> let's try and add some of those although I'm gonna add some today they might actually change and that's because we're gonna have you know pipes and hoses running over these tanks and around them as well and they're gonna have priority so if I add a hatch you know and those pipes and things get in the way I'll move the hatch to have a uh, you know for the pumping system because that's really really important that bit but let's just put one on and see if it works see how it looks for this I'm going to use the hinged hatch which is just down here quite expensive aren't they actually four hundred dollars each and also we're going to use the ladder as well so let's just grab that maybe we'll just put one here and just see what it's like to actually climb down into our tanks okay so if we chuck that there then underneath try and use the side of the tank here and put our ladder there okay so now we are actually inside one of our tanks here and yeah it looks all right actually now i think the ladders may actually decrease you know the overall capacity of the tanks but it should be all right because i have of course measured these things and it is enough for us to make our 10 million dollars plus a bit more as well i think so it should be fine. Of course, we'll test it. And if we add things in here, which uh, which reduce the capacity too much, we'll take them out so we can carry enough fuel. But I reckon that's going to be OK. What we should do is spawn in and just climb down inside. OK, here we go then. There it is. There's the ladder. Nice. Look at that. That's very cool. I mean, it just goes to show, like, how big these things actually are. It's pretty big. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of fluid in here. Uh, no wonder it gets so heavy. But that's pretty good. And let's just see if we can get out again at the same time. Yeah, it's quite tricky to get out there. I might have to hold crouch and jump or something. There we go. <laughs> but at least we know we can get out. And I believe these doors are actually lockable as well. So what I'd do is, back here, we'd have a, a bit of a control system. And I'll have a switch which enables us to lock all of the hatches when we don't need them. So we can't accidentally run past here, press E on it and open it up and then, you know, let something in or out. That would be a bad idea. So yeah, we'll have a very kind of secure system for those. But uh, I, th I think it's pretty good actually. Let me know guys, have you got any ideas about access hatches? And anything we can sort of do to make that system even better. Now, an interesting thing about these fluid jets, of course, is that you can reverse and turn using these. You don't have to actually have a rudder. I might still add a rudder after testing 
Um, of course, we'll test it first and see how it is. But it might help in some situations to also use a rudder for extra maneuverability. I think we're almost there actually for this video. But there are a few more things I'd like to do. And one of those things is to actually round off a few of the edges just down here. So for example, we cut these away. And yeah, I'll put symmetry mode on first. There we go. Cut these away. And also, let's just put uh, the grid back on so we can see better. I'm going to just round off the edges that go down here. Because I think it'll look a bit better. So we'll simply just get a one by one wedge here. And bring that down there. Then we'll get some pyramids and inverse pyramids and we'll just drag that all the way down like that. And then we'll round it off at the bottom with one of these things, an inverse pyramid again. Just like that. Okay. Yeah, I think that looks a bit better. What do you reckon, guys? Should I keep it like that or should I have it a bit more pointy and stabby? <laughs> anyway, let me know. Um, but we'll leave it for the moment. And you know what guys, I feel like doing some painting just to finish off this video here. So that's what we're going to do. Get our paintbrush out and uh, yeah, we'll just use plain fill I reckon. Now, you know, of course I may not stay with the colours I'm going to choose today. But I quite like the idea of using this dark blue. And I might even make custom colours for it as well. Um, but I just want to get an idea of what it's actually going to look like when it looks a bit more finished off. So let's have a go with this. Uh, and Yeah, and see what happens. Yeah, look at this. Okay, this is much better now, isn't it? Got this really nice blue here, dark blue, straight from the Stormworks palette here. I took the platform away from underneath that winch there, just put it straight onto the deck. Now I've got this uh, barrier up here at the bow as well. And then if we run over here, we've even got a, a V-shaped cut in with a bit of a slope. Now what that is, is that, you know, as if we had a chain or a rope going down here, it's going to guide it. Now, of course, it's not really going to work like that in game. But that's just a detail I thought I'd add there. We've also got some cuts into here so we can have cleats and, you know, put ropes through them, anchors, whatever we want, stuff like that. I will have those at the stern as well, but I just haven't done that yet. So that will come in the future. We've got some blue stripes at the top of the funnels and the bridge just to sort of tie it into the main theme of the boat as well. But I've left it all white here for the most part. I suppose what we could do actually is have darker windows and stuff like that. And of course the tanks are all blue at the moment as well. Guys, what do you think of this overall? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm really enjoying making this so far. I reckon it's going to be, you know, successful in the end. I just ha I have got a good feeling about this. Um, I really do. We're going to make it work, guys. Our journey towards $10 million is moving along nicely. But that is all we've got time for in this episode today. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I really do appreciate it. Please do remember to like and subscribe, you know, if you've enjoyed the video and you want to see more. Um, it really, really helps me out a lot, and I do appreciate it very very much anyway until next time thank you so much take care and i see you all very very soon bye guys <laughs>